All right, uh, let's take a look at this draft. So there are going to be a couple cards in here. This is a uh, EIK France WM, as well as G4, G5, and D deck. So D deck is um, definitely by far the one I'm the least familiar with. Um, both D and G4, G5, I think, are going to be included at least partially in the uh, new edition of Play Agricola, or the new edition of Agri uh, Agricola when it comes out. All right, taking a look at this draft, not going to pick Master Brewer, not Clay Seller, Shingle Maker. Um, I can give a read to get a grain and a bonus point. That seems pretty good, but Patroness is fantastic. Uh, its stats are really good. I think it's like a 5.8 or something right now. Uh, Mason's Apprentice is very cool. Vegetable Importer wouldn't be bad. Dancer wouldn't be bad to get back. Harvest Helper, Shingle Maker, any of these I would be pretty happy with. So, uh, But I'm going to take Patroness for now. I'm going to keep Mason's Apprentice in the back of my head uh, just because it combos really well with some stuff. Um, Patroness says uh, whenever I play an Auk, including this one, I get a resource of my choice. So it's really good for getting some early reed and stone while playing occupations at the same time. Uh, okay, Martial Artist. That um, Martial Artist is a card that says you put two people on traveling players. The second one gets you grain, wood, food, and bonus point uh, and vegetable. So it's actually not bad. Um, Especially with whoever takes Dancer, but I think there are some better cards. Uh, Burden Bearer, if I use my third person to take resources, like an extra one. Uh, Hunter is uh, not that great. Forest Farmer could be good. Um, Game Catcher, whenever I play, when I play this card, I pay number of food equal to the number of harvest to receive one cattle and one boar. Um, that doesn't seem that strong. I think I'm going to take Officer with the plan that Patroness is going to give me lots of stone early on. I can run out of stone very early and then I will use Officer to get um, to get stone to get to stone rooms. So I'm going to take Officer with my second pick. All right. Um, Cat Lover is great. Uh, great card. I think my plan will be not to build a whole bunch of wood rooms. I'm going to hopefully build a bunch of uh, stone rooms, or at the very least, run out of stone very early. Um, so I'm not going to take Cat Lover. Uh, bean Counter. One food on Bean Counter. I receive the food from this card every time. There are three food. Oh, okay, so I play it, and then it will periodically give me three food. That's for fencing, major, minor, sheep, and so. Mm, I'm probably not going to take any of those actions all that many times. So I'm not going to take bean lover. Pet lover. Um, one animal. I can leave the animal, but get an animal, two food, and a grain. That seems okay. Um, take it with grain. I get a cattle. That's all right. Debris dealer uh, with early reno strats is pretty good. I think, though, I'm going to take the gardener's wife. Uh, just because it's nice and simple, I can play it early. It's going to give me probably two or three vegetables. Um, yeah, if I'm playing early stone, I don't have a lot of free actions to do stuff like bean counter, pet lover. I think it's better to take Gardener's Wife here. Um, all right. Uh, wow, Fair Fighter really think I cannot pass Fair Fighter to whoever got Martial Artist and um, other card and other card and other card. Now on the other hand, uh, Wealthiest European is fantastic with Mason's Apprentice because I can play Wealthiest European, get a bunch of stone, use that to bit start building stone rooms without using actions. Um, so Wealthiest European could be really good. However, I do have Patroness. I do have Gardener's Wife cards that I probably want to play early. So I th And Cattle Dealer is also a great card. I think, though, I'm going to have to take Fair Fighter. Just because that Fair Fighter, if I get Dancer back or Martial Art, or if I get the Traveling Players combo cards back, it'll be great. Even if I don't, um, Fair Fighter is still an okay card because you basically use Traveling Players to gain... 
uh, like two or three food and and you get the action back. So fair fighter, I think is the okay pick here. And I think I do need to deny it from uh, my opponents. Uh, shout outs to everyone watching in Twitch chat. I'll be uploading this video, this to uh, Agricola, uh, to the YouTube channel, play underscore Agricola. But uh, I did broadcast this live on Twitch originally, and I am ch keeping an eye on Twitch chat. So if you guys want to chat with me, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. All right. Uh, not going to take vegetable importer. Um, not going to take Master Brewer, not going to take Harvest Helper. For me, I think it's between Shingle Maker and Mason's Apprentice. So, um, Shingle Maker, whenever someone renos, I can give them a read to gain a grain and a bonus point. That seems pretty good. Um, especially with Patroness, I, I can use Patroness to give me a ton of reads so that I can give it away and turn it into grain and bonus points. Uh, on the other hand, Mason's Apprentice is a fantastic card. And, um, now with Mason's Apprentice, I'm hoping to get something like Lighthouse as a miner. I'm hoping to get Stonehouse Extension. I'm hoping to get uh, Rock Pyramid, cards that really benefit from building stone rooms. Now my occupations don't necessarily push me towards stone room, except for Officer, of course. Um, yeah, I think I have to take Mason's Apprentice here. It's just uh, Shingle Maker could be really good for me, but I think I have the chance to have just an absolutely insane game if I get Stonehouse combo cards. All right, uh, Wood Distributor, Hunter, Burden Bearer. Not gonna take Burden Bearer. I could take Hunter, I could take Wood Distributor. Uh, game catcher doesn't seem that strong. I mean, if you play it in the th second last round, I mean, I guess it gives you animals late if you don't already have animals. So it could be a four point card in the last uh, for two food in round 14. But hopefully I've gotten animals before then. Will I have? Uh, if I'm not building any wood rooms, that should mean I can fence relatively early. So, in which case, game catcher wood should not be all that strong. Um, wood distributor. Wood distributor. Um, yeah, maybe I will take game catcher. Um, just because I'm not that likely to play any of the other three cards. Yeah, and even if it's only two points and a cattle, or like, and it gives me a third cattle or whatever, that might be a three. It might be a three-point card if I play it in round fourteen. So, we'll see. Uh, okay. Whenever I take a grain, I can pay food to get a cattle. Uh, I don't want to take a grain that many times unless I get some. Nah, even if I get some combos, I don't think I want to do that many times. I think. Pet Lover is a bit better here because I can go on one cattle and get, you know, cattle to food grain as opposed to going on take a grain to get cattle. Uh, cattle feeder would be really good if I wanted to go on grain a lot early to get animals, but I don't think I want to. I think Pet Lover is going to be the card here. All right, so I was hoping for, I'm hoping to see Rock Pyramid, which uh, I might. Uh, so what have I got here? I've got, um, so Shipyard actually with Wood Distributor, Shipyard could have been quite good because, or not Shipyard actually, I'm thinking of a different card. Yeah, not taking Shipyard, not taking Salary. Uh, I might take Alchemist Lab, might take Boundary Stone. It's not gonna take Feed Pallet. Uh, I'm not going to take food plot. So for me, it's evening prayer, mountain cave, huntsman, rifle, alchemist lab, boundary stones. So mountain cave is good in that it'll give me extra stone, which I can use to renovate. However, I think there's a pretty good chance that mountain cave comes back around. I think evening prayer is the best card in this pack. Evening prayer is just a great card. Plus... 
Uh, if once I get two vegetables, I'll already have two fields and I can sow them and that'll be how I feed with those vegetables. Yeah, so I'm hoping for Mountain Cave coming back. Alchemist Lab wouldn't be too bad. Boundary Stones wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, mansion. You always have to be aware that a card like Mansion is around. Um, nail Basket is good. Pelts is good. Um, how many rooms am I going to build? Am I going to build four? If I build four stone rooms, will I have enough stone to also play Mansion for eight points? Um, it's possible. I don't know it's um, all that likely. Um, oh, jeez. I wouldn't mind playing Mansion. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take Landing Net because my dream start will be read Stone Food Round 1, play Landing Net, read Stone Food again, and then I'll read Stone Food as much as I can to build stone rooms and I'll get extra food from Landing Net. Yeah, Landing Net also, in case the wood distributor gets played, is is good for going on the read spot as well. Oh, hello puppy. Hi. My roommate has a really cute dog and he's coming down to say hi. All right, uh, I should take a card. I'm gonna take uh, landing that, yeah. Maybe I wanna take mansion. All right, um, mansion. Yeah, I'm gonna take landing that. I've hummed and hot enough over that. Okay. Uh, wow, sleeping corner and carpet. Uh, I would like both of these. Um, Coster mongers will actually be really good for me with my gardener's wife. I think though I'm going to take sleeping corner with the intention of using oh maybe I will maybe I'll use pet lover to get a couple grain early and then I'll have the two grain planted with evening prayer yeah so so for me I'm taking sleeping corner or carpet uh, coster mongers will be really good for me but I'm gonna hope it comes back uh, so the question is do I take sleeping corner or carpet well with evening prayer I think sleeping corner is the definite choice if I could get unblockable family growth by the time I'm building my stone rooms with Mason's apprentice that would be awesome I don't it might be too much to do though we'll see yeah comment in chat that I have the entirely unprinted card draft for my occupations that's definitely the case G this is a G5 card G5 G5 D G5 D D yeah um, okay uh, ceramics is great especially if you have a reason to build an oven early with sleeping corner I sort of do like I could plow plow grain grain plant for sleeping corner and then I'm gonna want to build an oven um uh artichoke field wouldn't be too bad it's a nice point and a couple food sundial wouldn't be too bad uh i think sundial actually might be the pick here because uh if i've grown by round seven then sundial or i'm starting playing round seven then sundial will let me sow that vegetable that i have and maybe the one grain Hmm, I'm actually liking Sundial because I won't want to bake. I can starting player sow with Sundial. So that's a lot better. And it gets me two sow actions. So, um, Artichoke Field wouldn't be too bad. It lets you plow. I can plow on this and get some food. Ceramics is a great card. I think, though, the pick for me is going to be Sundial. 
even if I only use sundial for the round nine so that's still okay uh, okay let's organize this the way I like to have it I just like to have it a little narrower so that all the cards are together it also helps me uh, organize it like this so I can remember which cards came in which drafts so for example um, you know I remember officers was in my second pack fair fighter was in my fourth yeah so I'm pretty happy that I took fair fighter away from whoever got the traveling players combo they might still play it because there were enough traveling players cards out there but uh, fair fighter would have just made the game by large margin all right here I'm taking mountain cave that's a pretty easy pick for me I think it's gonna give me stone uh, more stone which I can use to build stone rooms uh, boundary stone would be the only other card I'd seriously consider here food plot is not really that good uh, because you need a way for it to hold and eat animals if you do it early huntsman's rifle is okay it's a little expensive may as well just get a hearth um, yeah boundary stones would be the other card but I think mountain cave will be good because it'll give me the stone that I need so um, landing net was in the same pile as mansion so I doubt that mansion will come back around but if it does I definitely am taking it because it's a fantastic card um, it's very expensive but if you have four rooms you know each action that you use to take like three wood or three clay or whatever is basically worth two points so that's about as good as a lot of other stuff uh, here I got nail basket wishing fountain wishing fountain actually wouldn't be that bad but I can't guarantee that I'm gonna get the well so there's a good chance it'll be a dead pick um, Craig festival is cool except for the fact that I have a ways of getting grain and vegetable already um, Craig festival actually the, the problem with Craig festival is I need to get the sheep and if I just take one sheep you know I may as well have just taken the grain you know rather than taking a sheep and then playing Craig festival if I had a way to get sheep easily like and the thing is if I play pet lover and then play Craig fest and then take sheep and play Craig festival well it's redundant because pet lover is already going to give me grain Sorry, I'm probably talking about cards that you guys aren't going to be totally familiar with. I'll try to remind you of them as much as I can. Nail Basket, however, is a fantastic card. Gives you uh, basically unblockable fences, which is really nice. Um, and here... Um, one grain field, one vegetable field, and one empty field. Actually, that sounds very likely with what I have. Uh, so I'm gonna go for that although clapper clapper might not be too bad either um, hmm the question is am I gonna play pet lover early or am I just gonna take grain I also need to plow fields I have a lot of stuff that I'm gonna want to try to do early um, yoke if I know there are plows out there I'll take yoke but I don't know for sure that there are there's probably one there were two I would definitely take it but it might just be one and if it's just one it's eh, it's okay um, yeah clapper would be good but I think three field rotation actually I might fulfill it very early on with my one gr vegetable from gardener's wife and I take one grain early on to sow with sundial evening prayer yeah all right we'll try that so uh, my plan for this game, I'm third, so uh, I'll probably take three, will I take three wood actually? I could take one reed and then starting player landing that. Ah, that's a waste, I won't do that. Um, will I play an occupation? No, probably not, because evening prayer is good enough that I'm going to want to plow and use it for sure. So I think probably I will evening prayer, maybe patroness fair fighter or patroness gardener's wife and uh, maybe fair fighter, maybe pet lover actually. Yeah, I'll try to remind you guys of the cards more often when they come up. Uh, okay, this is unusual. So I got occupation, cheap occupation with round one. So I'm actually gonna have to think. Um, 
I could take landing net. Um, uh, I could mm, plan on starting player Mountain Cave. I could just play Patroness here. That would be fine, but I really like Evening Prayer, and I think it's worth me using it. So I could take one read and then starting player landing net and then read stone food next round and then plow again. I think instead though what I'm going to do is I'm going to starting player mountain cave here. And my second action will be, no I should plow with my first move. Uh, So, I mean, the thing about plowing here is that even if things go horribly wrong for me this game, at the very least, I can plow again and then starting player in round two and play evening prayer. And that'll be fine. Yeah. The other thing is I could have played patroness and then second action starting player landing net. That would have been good too. Um, I'm not sure. All right, so we've had Clay Worker played. Clay Worker, very old card. Fine card, especially early on. It's going to give him a 4-5 Clay. Furnisher, this is an interesting card. Um, really good for playing those one wood miners, which there are a lot of them. I have a couple. Um, Sleeping Corner and Sundial, both one wood miners. And it gives you two wood as well, so it doesn't really set you back that much. And then here, I guess I will start in player mountain cave. And then next round, I will read stone food and plow a field. And then in round three, I will do something and then plow. And at some point, I'm going to take some wood so that I have wood to convert into stone. Yeah. So my plan is um, renovate as early as I can to get my officer going. Then start building rooms with my mason's apprentice. Probably build two stone rooms maybe. Maybe three. Probably only two though. Um, and yeah. Use my patroness to get me a bunch of stone and read. I read stone food here. My second action will be plow. And then in round three, hopefully I get read stone food again. Uh, Kimball correctly guesses that I have evening prayer. Yeah, I love evening prayer. It's a great card. Especially with my gardener's wife and uh, with later getting sleeping corner. I'm, I'm very happy with evening prayer. So gold silver, uh, I like what gold silver is doing here, playing on expens expensive occupation, noticing that Kimball and I are not planning on, probably Kimball is going to play head, um, wealthiest European, so he's going to pass on uh, playing Ox for a long time. I, of course, am playing Evening Prayer, so I'm going to pass on playing Ox for the first couple rounds. So gold silver is setting myself up to play three occupations by the end of round two at one food each, which is awesome. Or even last round it was probably free. Yeah, so two two food for three ox by the end of the second round. That's that's really good. But Josh he might play an occupation here too, so Oh, he takes greed. Okay. So I could plow, I could starting player um landing net, but I think I plow here for sure. Yeah, plowing is good. I'm already the starting player, so you don't usually want a starting player when you are the starting player. 
usually you want to save your starting players for when you're not. That seems obvious, but you know, there's a chance that no one else will take starting player. And uh and if someone does, it might be uh Kimball, so Just while we have a moment, taking another look at my draft. So I'm going to play Patroness. I'm going to play Officer, Gardener's Wife, probably Fair Fighter, probably Mason, definitely Mason's Apprentice. The other two I might play, not totally sure. Might play Game Catcher late, probably won't pay pet, pet, play Pet Lover. Uh, and so my plan is, with my two fields, I'll get a vegetable from Gardener's Wife, I'll take a grain at some point, and then sow them with Sundial, and then I'll get some food from three field rotation and from Landing Net. That'll be how I'm going to feed early on, and then once I've got uh, stuff going and taken Fair Fighter as well. Yeah. So what am I going to play when I evening prayer? Definitely Patroness question is what's the second card I think it's gonna be fair fighter just because fair fighter is every two round a free two food so uh, yeah I think that'll be that'll be all right or even if fair fighter is only one food per round and just use it every round um, I could do that uh, actually does that work yeah it does that does because if there's two I leave one okay so Kimball went on starting player, so that's fine because I'm immediately after him, so I've got uh, got no problems with that. So the question is, what am I going to do here? And I'm going to starting player first action because I want to start playing occupations. And I'm going to get a... Hey bud, I'm going to get a reed and a stone, and I will play Fair Fighter with my other card. So hopefully I get traveling players with my second action. Uh, alternatively, other options would be uh, three food fishing would be okay. Um, yeah, three food fishing. My dream is getting, uh, my best action is uh, traveling players by far. But I have to imagine Kimball's going to take traveling players here. Yeah, no surprise. So I could play an occupation. I could play uh, Pig Lover. I could play Gardener's Wife. Thing is, if I do that, it's going to make my feeding next round very annoying. So I think what I'm going to do instead is um, do I take three food fishing? He needs to eat as well. Yeah, gold silver needs to eat. And so does Joshi. Yeah, so I'm definitely taking fish because I want to make them hungry. So I would have liked traveling players, but uh, that's okay. I'll get it. I'll get it when it's at two food in round five. Get a food and a guest, and the get a food in the action back. Test, test, test. Yeah, mic's still working. Okay. Just keep just uh, checking out the settings, see how, make sure everything's okay. Our gold silver goes on day labor. That's absolutely fine. 
I guess uh, I guess the other thing I could have done instead of playing Fair Fighter, I could have played Pet Lover and then taken a sheep, two food, and a grain. That actually would have been a lot better if I had done that. Yeah, instead of fishing. But then I wouldn't have had Fair Fighter played. I would have had to play it later or maybe not play it at all. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Joshy plays Dancer, so he's going to be able to eat nice and easy. So here, uh, I can read stone food. I can take six clay. I can take four wood. I think I need to keep read stone food. Keep just hoarding read stone food. I, you know what? Six clay would be good as well. Six clay would actually be really good because that's reno in a cooking hearth. Yeah, okay, I'll take six clay. And then, um, yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, I really wish I had done that pet lover play. I should have thought harder. I should have thought that Kimball's definitely going to take three food. Oh well, you never know. You can never know for sure. Mm. Normally with a card like Landing Net, I would like to buy Basket Maker's Workshop or Pottery. Uh, not pottery so much, but basket makers workshop. But I think um, I think I can't afford to use the stone so early. So if I get reed stone food with my second action, I'll be happy. Otherwise, I'll take probably I won't get four wood, but I might get three wood. So uh, oh, I get four wood. Yeah, that's all right. So I feed four and turn a wood into a stone. So maybe I will uh, play the pottery or uh, basket maker's workshop. Yeah. I don't really want to fight with gold silver for the animals, but if I can steal animals from him, I definitely will. House Builder is a super annoying card. Um, at the end of any round in which you do not use the starting player action space, you can build room without using. Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, that's that's very different. Used to be build a room anytime. Oh, so he's comboing with the, uh, for every new room you build. Yep, cool. So he plays Artichoke Field and saves the wood on it. Okay, um, my turn, new round. Oh, and Family Growth comes out. That's too bad. That's not what I wanted to have happen, but, uh, oh well, it happens. Um, Reedstone Food. So maybe I will actually do Basket Maker's Workshop when I reno, one of the times that I reno. Do one of them um, reno Cooking Hearth and the other time reno Basket Maker's Workshop. If I can get Reedstone food two more times, 
or even if I'm doing my reno to stone in round eight when I've converted another wood. Yeah, I could do that. We'll see. Hmm. I do want to get my sundial going, but probably it, I won't use it until round nine. Probably, yeah, at this point I don't have time to get, get, um, I could take green twice and then play sundial in round seven. But I think if I do that, the, my feeding is going to be really annoying. It's going to be hard for me to feed. So I think, I think I'll just try to use sundial in round nine. Even if I only sow one grain with it. Mm, could be worse. Not ideal, but... Uh, so I could starting player here. That would be pretty annoying for... Uh, well, actually, gold silver is going to grow either way. So if I starting player here, I, I would play landing net. And then it would be maybe two extra food for the next harvest. Yeah, alternatively, I could... You know what? I'm going to play pig lover here. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to. I'm going to play Pig Lover and get a read. Or Pet Lover, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to play Pet Lover. Announce, get a read, and minus one. So n hopefully Reno comes out next round, because if it does, I will Reno play Cooking Hearth, which forces Gold S Silver to either take four sheep or leave them to me in which case I get four sheep which is awesome alternatively he takes four sheep and then in round seven I take uh, one sheep which is two food another two food which feeds me in a grain so then I have my grain so that's pretty cool oh yeah so I'm happy with that Yeah, Patroness is great. I love it. Great card. Uh, will I traveling players next round? If uh, renovation doesn't come here, definitely. If reno doesn't come here, for sure I traveling players because I'm going to want to do lots of actions in round seven. And so uh, traveling players giving me an extra action there will be good. That's the other nice thing about Fair Fighter is that it can let you... Um, it can let you delay. Like... I'm going to want to do a lot of stuff in round seven so I can travel players round six to get a couple food and gain an action in round seven. So that seems all right. Oh, there's, oh, excuse me. There's the wealthy European. No surprise. Oh, a couple cards played that I didn't zoom in on. Um, Alchemist Lab is like Reedstone food, except you pay a food to whoever played it, and then you get one of each resource that you already have. Um, there was Salary played really early. Salary is pretty boring. You exchange a resource for another resource. Uh, it's pretty good with like clay pit or quarry. You turn the stone or a clay into like a reed uh, or a wood. Um, but you, usually you don't want to go on day labor that many times. All right. Uh, new round. Oh, no renovation. So that makes me sad. So with my first action, I could build a room or build a uh, fireplace, cooking hearth. I'll build cooking hearth. I could read stone food as well. Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna build cooking hearth here. I would really like for that either to get that four sheep or to take sheep myself next round. <laughs> and then my second action, read stone food if it's available, otherwise traveling players. Leave a food and gain an action next round. And next round, I will be renovating, playing Basket Maker's Workshop. Yeah. Uh, 
I want to play Officer as soon as I can. So probably my round eight would be Reno to Stone and play Officer. And then, yeah. And then probably I don't get my Mason's Apprentice going until round 10. So my family growth is going to come really late. But I'm going to save a bunch of resources. I'm going to save a bunch of wood. So my fencing should be hopefully easier. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, unsurprisingly, sheep was taken. So I'm going to go on traveling players, take a food, and get a guest next round. And guess, uh, guest is the hotkey for guest is K, so that's why I said K. Alternatively, uh, uh, instead of playing Basket Maker's Workshop for the next harvest, I could play Sundial and activate my pet lover before going on Reno. So I could Reno Sundial, sow my grain, which I would get back. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. That seems okay. I'll have to... Th yeah, because if I start eating my reed too early, it's going to be a big pain in the butt to... Uh, to get my reno going. Oh, I don't know. Joshy might starting player here. What's he doing? Reedstone food? Oh, he's going on uh, Alchemist Lab. Okay, cool. Build room by well, nice, nice. It's a really good combo. So he's using his alchemist lab, and then using house builder to build a room without an action. So house builder is even better than the mason's apprentice because you can build wood rooms with it. But alternatively, it doesn't give you a discount on. Uh, on the room. So the, the two stone discount on with Mason's Apprentice is pretty good. Alright, so I have the first action which is handy. So what do I want to do with this? Do I want to play an occupation? I could play an occupation here and then Pig Lover and then Reno. Could read if I read stone food. I do need to keep going on read stone food. Uh, I think I also I really like getting my officer played at this point. I'm really bi a big fan of that. Although Kimball could definitely mess with me. Yeah, Kimball could really mess with me. So do I Reno here just to be safe? Is Kimball likely to Reno this early? He's got no he's got no need to, not with his first action at least. Um, so I could read Stone Food. I could play an occupation. Uh, I think I'm gonna play an occupation. Yeah, I'm gonna awk here. This is a little greedy, but uh, I think it'll work out. Play officer, and then I'm gonna gain a read. Um, so looks like I should be broadcasting. So uh, if you could just put a message in chat, I think I got got at least one person watching live. So if you could just say, hey, I hear you right now, that would be great.
So interestingly, gold silver goes on reedstone food instead of building a room. Um, Joshi decides to play it safe though, recognizing that it's a very good chance that he begs. Oh. Uh, looks like, it looks like I'm broadcasting, as far as I can tell on my end. The mic's on, yeah. Yeah, it's back. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, um, so interesting there. Gold Silver decided to read Stone Food, gambling that J Joshi would be afraid of, too uh, much afraid of begging to build a room himself, uh, to family growth ahead of him. So just a nice little play there from Gold Silver. Uh, a little risky, but you know, not entirely so. Okay, so there's Brick Lover. So I think, oh, do I need to, can I play it risky and take one sheep? What are the odds that one sheep gets taken? I think very low. I think Reno is more likely to get taken. Ah. Oh, this is annoying. I could play Basket Maker's Workshop here, and that would be safe. And the drawback would be my stone gets down one round later, or my grain gets down one round later. Yeah, I'm going to play safe and play Basket Maker's Workshop here. Just because I don't trust Kimball. Kimball could very easily take one sheep, and that would really screw me. Because I need this sheep for four food and a grain. Um, yeah. So yeah, four food and a grain, and then I will, n will I eat a reed? I guess I will eat a reed because I need food for officer. Um, although I could take traveling players to get some food. Although Joshi is likely to take traveling players here. I think I probably would if I was him. I don't know, he might want a starting player as well. Starting player four would maybe. Starting player is traveling player. Uh, there is three reed available, and he definitely wants to do more building. I, of course, would like to get that three reed quite badly, because if I do, that'll be... If I can get four reed next round, that'll be great. Yeah, four reeds available, I should take it. But I also need to renovate as well. Uh... Yeah. Anyways, I'm definitely doing this, which is take a sheep for four food and a grain. And then I convert a wood to a stone. So I'll have the number of stone I need to build a stone room the next harvest that I convert a wood to a stone. So that means next round I can take four reed with my first action. Um, yeah, I can decide on whether or not I'm going to eat a reed until I see what these guys are doing. Yeah, so Pet Lover actually seems okay. Uh, uh, every time the new animal comes up for the first time I can take it for that number of food four food five food six food and a grain so that's all right it'll be a couple grain mm. I guess I, I guess I should have played it risky because I could then activate my sleeping corner really early I could activate I could have activated so if I sewed here I would get another grain, which I would sow again with my um, sundial, and then I could play sleeping corner in starting player round 10 in order to guarantee my growth, that, and then grow unblockably. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I should have done that instead. Oh, well. Moving on. Here, I could Reno. I probably do want a Reno. 
but I think that four read is really good for me. Eat, read, two. Because I definitely need the food. So, yeah. I think I take four read here. And then hopefully I get renovate with my second action. Uh, it's possible that I don't. If I don't, I'll do traveling players. I would have wouldn't mind six wood actually. I should have probably I should have thought about six wood at least, which I didn't really. Um, yeah. The other guys are are of course doing well, but I'm really happy with my setup. I have to say, I have good setup. I'm gonna be able to start doing stuff very soon. Test yeah, okay, it's still alive. Gold silver takes the six wood. So the big question is, does Kimball Reno? He might. Joshy might Reno too, actually. Uh, I hope they don't. But they might. If they do, I'll traveling players. Gaining action next round, and then make sure I get Reno that round. Actually, next round I would def I'm definitely gonna Reno Sundial. I could take a boar, get another grain, and then I'd have my two grain sewn for my uh, sleeping corner. Yeah, so that'd be okay. So let's see what Kimball does here. Moment of truth. Ah, he takes clay, great. So I get my reno. So I reno, and not really a major that I can afford. So I think I'm going to reno here and play Sundial. So I can afford to eat a reed in this upcoming harvest and still have enough reed to build a room in round 10. Yeah, so my to-do list for next round, uh, play Mason's Apprentice, um, take boar and get an extra grain, and um, maybe play Gardener's Wife as well. Would, be, would that be my three moves? Mason's Apprentice, um, take boar, play Gardener's Wife. Yeah, I could do those three actions. If no one else is likely to build a room, though, then I can always Gardener's Wife next round as well. I also, if four wood's available, I guess I'll take four wood. Yeah. So I'll take one boar. I can take one boar with my last move. Yeah, the nice thing about playing uh, Gardener's Wife and Mason's Apprentice is that's another two resources towards building my fourth room. Now, I might not be able to build my fourth room in round 11. I might have to wait till round 12. But even so, four stone rooms, uh, my officer is in action. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this game so far. Now, of course, me doing what I'm doing is al allowing Joshi to grow much easier and you know I didn't put pressure on Kimball or Gold Silver growing so they're benefiting as well so I have to make sure that I'm just way more efficient than they are Artisans District this is interesting especially since I've already bought BMW and the pottery's gone too I guess it's a stone for a point something yeah stone for a point is okay pretty typical return one resource for one point Yeah, so at this point, I think playing Fair Fighter, I can safely say, might have been a mistake. Uh, although I did like the way things worked out in round 7. I've only used them once. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. 
If I had played that differently, instead of playing Fair Fighter, maybe I could have gotten the six wood here at the start of this round. I don't know. We'll see. So if I can, I think I won't eat a reed this round. I'm going to have to think about this. I'll have to look at what the stone actions will be at. Stone will be at 2 in round 10. Reed will be at 2 in round 10. So if I grow, take 2 stone, take 2 reed, I could then grow again the next round. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's unlikely that I'm going to get the resources I need to build the room in round 11. Because, okay, in, at the start of round 10, I convert a wood to a stone and build a stone room. I have zero stone and two, maybe one reed. Um, I'll have one reed and one stone with if I take a stone from Mason's Apprentice. So I have one reed, one stone. So that means in order to build, I could play Gardener's Wife, get a reed, and then take two stone. Gardener, so then my round 10 would be Gardener's Wife, two stone, grow. Yeah? Okay, maybe that'll work. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I, I agree. The six clay grab was absolutely a uh, comment from uh, in chat from Boom You Dead. Um, I guess I should say it. Probably it's supposed to be Boom You Dead. Um, that six clay grab was absolutely huge. Um, yeah, you're uh, you're you're totally right. The cooking hearth allowing the pig lover, the pet lover play. Um, yeah. Yeah, I agree. That six clay grab was huge. Um, not too often that you get it in round four. I'm glad I did it. Uh, is the other thing. I'm very glad that I did that. You know, six clay in in round four is a lot of the times it's going to be your best action. I have to say. So I'm glad I did that. Yeah, six clay. A reno coming out when it did is a tiniest bit unfortunate. But, uh, I mean, I think the game's been going overall pretty well for me so far. I'm surprised Gold Silver didn't take Fair Fighter considering. Yeah, uh, well, I'm surprised that Gold Silver didn't start taking the traveling players' cards because he knew that they were out there. Um, okay, so I need to get an occupation down. So probably I need to play an occupation and then take four four wood. What's what are the odds occupation gets taken? I guess it's too big for me to get it blocked. I pretty much have to play it. Yeah, if I got it blocked, I'll be pretty upset with myself. Announce, and I'm going to get a uh, read here. So then my next two moves, Pet Lover on Wild Boar and Four Wood or Read Stone Food. Probably Four Wood. If it's if it comes back, I have four wood will probably get taken. That three wood would be okay. Also, I could starting player, starting player sleeping corner. Or no, I can't play sleeping corner this round. Hmm. 
Yeah, so I need to get a two stone grab next round, right? That's what I that's what I said. I need to take two stone next round because then I can build, grow, build, grow. Yeah. So what uh, what are my f the failings of this game so far? I have only one wood, and I'm going to have no wood once I convert it to a stone. So that's going to be a big problem for me, that I have no wood. So I'm just going to have to start taking wood whenever I can. Um, now, I will have a bunch of actions because I'm going to get to uh thing. Oh, there's the martial artist. There he goes. So he dances, and then the second action is Martial Artist. And Martial Artist gives you grain, vegetable, wood points. That's pretty good. Uh, I get four wood. Awesome. Now, this does leave me slightly vulnerable to someone taking one boar. But, um... I don't think it's that likely. Yeah, because Kimball, what Kimball is going to do is going to build a room with his last action. So yeah, Kimball is going to build a room with his last action and because uh, he'll want to build, he'll want to grow ahead of me, but I'll say that's fine because I'm going to first move, play, Gardener's Wife, second move, starting player, uh, sleeping corner, third move, um, family growth. So yeah, my expectation is that Kimball plays a, um, well, I haven't really been looking at what the other guys have been doing. So he played Alley. What does Alley do? Uh, start of each round, you take one wood from the card. If you do, you can't use wood accumulation spots. All right. Yeah, gold, silver starting player there is annoying. Ah, uh, the other. Mm. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is. Well, I've already discussed it. I'm going to take boar for sure. Take boar, leave it, eat one, two, three, four, five, which feeds my four, plus I get a green and then so. Pet on boar. So 2G, they know about Sleeping Corner, so they'll probably be expecting it. Wood to stone, build room. So then I build a stone. 
and I eat another food for officer. Uh, don't eat read. Uh, do I need to eat a read? Now I have no food in order to pay for gardener's wife. Uh, I'm one food short. That's too bad. Uh, I could eat a raw grain. Um, yeah, I can eat a raw grain. That would be okay. Yeah, I'll eat one raw grain to pay for Gardner's Wife. And then, so first move, Gardner's Wife. Second move, uh, starting player. Um, starting player, uh, sleeping corner. Third move. Yeah. Third move, um, two stone. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, yep, go for another stone room. Uh, I could go for stone oven instead, but I think, I think my feeding for the next harvest should be okay because I can do pet lover on 11 on um, cattle for another six food. So that's all right. What did he do? He did clay. So I am going to uh, starting player. No, I'm not going to starting player. I'm going to um, actually I could starting player here and hope that occupation comes back around. I'm not totally sure that it will. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Play announce plus s. Eat raw chi to pay. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't have enough moves. I can't uh, I can't starting player and family growth this round if I'm gonna take two stone. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. Still all right though. I'll get uh, three stone next round or take three reed. Either of those would be fine with me. Um, probably three reeds a bit better. Um, so my next two actions will be starting player, um, sleeping corner, and then family growth, and play. Oh, I'll play. Um, we could play landing net. Yeah, landing net would be another two food for when I take reed next round. Yeah, that seems okay. And then taking reed will allow me to then play nail basket. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. So it looks like three field rotations not getting played. But that's fine. It's only two food per harvest. Which uh, which is good, but. It's not a doesn't have a point associated with it. So uh, hooking fish. So what is he on? Maybe he's on reed. Uh, he might be on major minor, playing uh, stone oven, or playing uh, cooking hearth. Yeah, hopefully he's playing cooking hearth and not taking my two reed. He doesn't have need for two reed. Uh, although if he's playing mansion, he will want it. Yeah, Kimball might be playing mansion. Oh, Joshi's probably got mansion. Oh, that's a. Oh, maybe gold silver does. I don't know. Hard to say how far mansion went. 
Hmm. Yeah, with the downsizing, at least it'll only be an eight-point mansion, so that's something. Oh, I need to refresh, it looks like. Oh, he did take Reed. Hey, so I guess Kimball has... Um, Year, I starting player. So I don't need to build a fourth stone room because I can. Yeah, so sleeping corner is um, use any family growth action space, even if another player. What does carpet pl carpet says? Even if it is occupied by another player. Yeah, so I guess I'm not taking Reed next round. Uh, I guess I'll take um, take Reed Stone food for two food. And then a reed which I can eat and a stone which I will get a third stone with my mountain cave. Yeah, okay. Oh, Kimball playing two rooms. Hmm. And I will go on play landing net. So I'm going to eat a raw G to p pay for officer. And then I'm going to take uh, six food and a boar. And uh, yeah, hopefully next action I get reedstone food. And then I'll get four wood at some point too. Oh, plus V. Um, Yeah, so maybe playing landing net was a mistake. I don't know. I wasn't expecting to get three boar. Probably if I had thought a little bit more, I would have got it. Mm. Hmm. So yeah, this game's going pretty nicely. Uh, patroness plus officer plus mason's apprentice is pretty good. Seems like a good combo. Makes you want to go to stone and then build stone rooms. And the officer offsets the the fact that you're growing so late. So the other thing is, if I don't build another stone room... Um, if family growth comes out around 12, then I'm not going to build another two stone rooms. Or I'm not going to build another stone room because I can do... Uh, but then I can grow twice in round 12 and I'll have six actions in round 13, which is also very nice. Uh, I think here I take four wood because I need to start hoarding some wood.
Ooh, farm steward. That's interesting. It's a little late. I guess me taking Reno um, pushed him back and then Kimball reno reno renoing as well. Uh, okay, so read stone f if I read stone food here, I definitely build another room. Um, yeah, building another room will be fine, and then I'll take four wood or three wood with my last move. So Kimball needs um, two more Reedstone food actions. So Mansion costs five clay, or, or three wood, three clay, two reed, and three stone. So he needs five total stone in order to renovate to stone and play Mansion. Um, yeah. Hopefully four wood comes back around. That would be cool. If four wood comes back around, then it's also there's also a chance that I stay starting player, and that would be nice as well. I do want to stay starting player with no effort. That's always good when that happens. Um, I'm not going to be able to eat a reed this harvest, which is too bad, but that happens. Um, Yeah, certainly, certainly cannot complain about how this game has gone. It's gone uh, pretty nicely for me. Uh, Gold Silver has forgotten his three vegetable, and uh, I think I will convert a wood to a stone. Yeah, why not? Wood to stone. It gives me points without having to use an action. Wood to stone. Build room. Oh, and I get to keep, I get to keep, uh, keep this growth. That's pretty cool. I am a lucky ducky. I'm getting very lucky today. So I'm going to family growth. Um, I'm going to want a family growth nail basket. So probably I'll take uh, reed stone food food and then use the reed for nail basket. And then I'll have a stone to activate the nail basket. So the way nail basket works is whenever you use a wood accumulation space, you can put a stone on that space to fence. So really it's very good and it's a point. So uh, really it's quite uh, quite a good card. Um, I could take three wood first, three wood, then reed stone food, food, and then family growth. Um, uh, I think Kimball wants that reed stone food, so me disrupting him will be annoying. He's gonna take. Oh, he's gonna take my two reed, isn't he? Oh, that's annoying. 
Oh, the stone is worth it for the nail basket, I think. Because then I have unblockable fences in round 14 if I put it off to round 14. And then game catcher. Actually, game catcher, even if I use it as a six food play, that'll be all right. Um, game catcher is the card that's going to give me a boar and a cattle. Or if I use it for a cattle and three food, you know, cattle being two points. Yeah, that seems okay. Yeah, so if uh, three wood comes back round, I take three wood. Otherwise, I'm going to take two reed. And the two reed and two food will basically secure my feeding for the next two rounds. Oh, there's Joshy taking the two reed. Okay. Oh, he needs to reno. He needs two reed to reno. Hmm. So, yeah, I'll take three wood if it's there. I could family growth and then instantly take wood and activate my nail basket. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll do that for sure. Um, Oh, there's gold, silver taking starting player away from me. That's fine. I have uh, gotten quite a bit out of it. So what I'm going to do here is fence. I'll go on two wood and I'll be able to fence uh, 11. Probably because of the way it works out, what I'll do is I'll fence 10. And then next round, if I want to do two and fence immediately, then I can do the two across. Yeah, I like that. I like that play. So I'm going to go here, take the two wood, put a stone there to fence 10. Thank you, Damaru Skak. who's uh, looking out for me. So I think I'm going to um, starting player with my first action next round just because uh, so plow so will be so big for me. And the way things are looking, plow, if I first action three field rotation, I might get second action um, plow a field. Uh, I could plow first. I guess plowing twice and then so would be fine too. I don't need the starting player. If I could get the plow and then starting player rotation, then I would get, you know, I would get two food out of the rotation at least. Hmm. I'm not really sure what the best play is. I think I'm going to take two boar with my. F I could take two boar and then take a cattle. But pet, uh, use the cattle as a pet, use pet lever on the cattle space.
yeah, this has been a pretty nice game. Even if I don't win, it's worked out pretty well. I think I have a very good chance to, although Kimball is going to get a ton of points from his mansion, and uh, Joshy is having quite a nice game himself. Although I think my point ceiling is a little higher than Joshi's. I don't know. Hard to say. I guess he's got the martial artist, so... And he has the well. Yeah, you know what? Joshi's in a really good spot. He's got martial artist and the well. So he's doing quite nicely. Um, yeah. Gold silver might not even plow anymore. I don't I don't really know what gold silver is doing. That farm steward just came so late. It's gold silver I don't really recognize I'm sure I've played with gold silver before, is he maybe just hasn't played much with these cards. Maybe hasn't been around for a while. Yeah, only nine percent win percentage over seven hundred games. He's not the not the strongest player, but that happens. Doesn't mean he shouldn't play. He should still try to have fun playing, of course. Uh, oh, Borg! One Borg got taken. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, what do I do with my first move? Oh, I guess uh, both plows are gone. Okay, I'll three field rotation. Starting player three field rotation. Why not? Why not? Yeah. So I can turn a wood into a stone and then take three wood next round and fence three with the nail basket. Yeah. Mountain Cave has been really nice. Mountain Cave and Patroness have both been amazing for getting me all the stone that I need. Because um, I don't think I've used this stone accumulation spot. I think it's just been all from Reedstone Food, which does give me something, but... I mean, I, stone plus three plus three. So I've used 10 stone throughout the game plus placing one. So 11. Yeah. Probably have gone on Reedstone food five times. Ah, more than that. Maybe it's like seven times. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, my last round of this round will be to family growth. Um, although, if Joshi or Kimball grow, I will grow immediately after. Because I think the wording of carpet is such that... Um, oh, actually, no, never mind. Kimball is at 1, 2, 3, 4. He's at 4 people. Oh, so Kimball is saving... Um, he's saving his last person to family growth plus play mansion. So he's saving it for the very end. Um, yeah. Oh, and I will use officer. I forgot to pay for it. Thanks. Um... So I could family growth here. I don't think I need to though. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take cattle and a grain and two food. So my first action next round will be to plow sow. Um, I also want to convert a wood to a stone and then use that stone to go on maybe the one wood space for uh, to 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 fence another three. I'll definitely take boar here if I can. 
take boar and then my boar will breed. Uh, and I'm going to get another vegetable from from growing for my gardener's mother. So it should be good for feeding. Because I can eat. I'll get another two food and then three food from the vegetable. Yeah. So I could take uh, take reed here, for example. But I don't think I need to. Yeah, so I'm going to take food, food, grain, and a boar. I think it's not once per round, right? Whenever. Yeah, good. Yeah, so I only used Fair Fighter once. So playing Fair Fighter was almost certainly a mistake. Um, although maybe it being out has forced Joshi to play a little differently. And if that's the case, then, you know, whatever. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. I've got two more moves left. I don't really have that much that I want to do. I guess I do want a family growth. Yeah, maybe I should have taken three wood already in order to... Mm, yeah, well, I'll take three wood and then family growth with my last two moves. That's, that's what I'll do. And then uh, game catcher actually will probably be worth two points if I do that. So I'll probably do something like that. Test, test. Yeah, it looks good. Only 82 frames drop. Yeah, that martial artist, um, yeah, he's doing quite nicely. Let's take a look. So for the first time, I'm going to take a look at the scores. I'm sitting at 33. Joshi's up at 40. Kimball's sitting at 21. So can I beat Joshi? Mm, I might not be able to. That uh, He might have just been having too good of a game. Yeah, that Costermonger's Burrow also is giving his uh, increasing his point ceiling. He's got 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five points for miners plus nine. Yeah, he's at 49. Yeah, I'm not catching that, I don't think. That's too bad, but uh, well played by him, you know. Nice, nice game. Uh, yeah. Well, and clay oven. Yeah, and two majors and a cooking hearth. Yeah. Always good. I'll take three wood here. and family growth. And then I turn a wood to a stone, eat six food V. Breed my boar. And did I say wood to stone? There, I've done it now. Um, okay. There, so now I can do the next round. And here I will be doing plow sow for sure. So I sow, do, do. Ah, oh, maybe I don't sow this one. I'm at max grain points, so sowing this will get me more food. All right, that works. And uh, eat um, O to pay for officer. Alright, so what am I going to do with my next action? Take 
three wood and fence maybe. Could do that. Or oh, the dog sleeping on my bed. He's such a cutie. He's not even he's not quite a year old, so he's still very cute. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, what am I going to do here? Um, yeah, I probably fence so that I can start getting animals. Like, I want to get those two sheep if I can. Although, sheep probably not going to come back around. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. Um, I probably should not have eaten a boar because that means that when I play game catcher, I can't get to a fifth boar. Oh well, we'll see. Um, I will take wood, place a stone, and then fence uh, five. One, two, th three. Whoops. Four, five. Yeah, so I can start counting up my points. Um, so I've got an extra point from Nail Basket. And I don't have any bonus points on my farm. Could take... Taking Reed will be points. Um, but I think for the rest of the game I'm probably just going to end up taking food with my next four actions. Yeah, so I've had a good game, um, not as good as Joshi's though. But that being said, when he got family growth around five, that was pretty good for him. I mean, he still played it, played it very, very well. But f certainly with uh, with house builder furniture, you want family growth to come early so that people get their growing out of the way, so that you can keep doing it yourself. Yeah. So I'll take two sheep if they come back to me, although I doubt they will. I expect Kimball take sheep here. Um, oh, Kimball plays mansion. Oh, he can pay one less clay so he can use the reed for the clay. Oh, that's handy. I didn't know that. Hmm. So I got two sheep, so that's good. That's two points and two food. So I have two food and a vegetable, five, seven. So I only need three more food. Um, so I could take two reed and two food. Um, I could take, I have, if I take three wood and then build s two stables, that'll be two points. I do need to get both actions though. So if I do that and then um, Joshi goes on uh, build stables and that'll be a problem. Mm. Yeah, oh pelts too, yeah. Joshi just had a really nice game. Yeah. Pelts, coster monger, downsizing. Alchemist Lab. What was his first miner? Oh, Artichoke. Yeah. Nice game by him. He played well. Grew early and uh, did well with it. The, the play where he got well was really nice. Where he took Alchemist Lab and then built a room. Yeah, being able to play a major like well off your turn are 
ridiculous. Because uh, Joshi was able to, yeah, build a room and well off of without an action is huge of course he used the action to play the occupation house builder and furnisher but but still being able to do that sort of out of order and kind of Uh, Kim takes three wood, so I will not be doing that. So I take two reeds, so that's a point. And what else will I do? Oh, I still have game catcher, so I could read stone food and then play game catcher. Yeah, all right, that sounds good. Reedstone, food, food, and then game catcher. And when I play game catcher, um, I would get another. Uh, Uh, oh, am I muted? Oh, I don't think so. Test, test. Oh, maybe Mara's muted in game. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, I do agree. I mean, I, there's definitely... But... Uh, I do agree. Definitely, there is uh, there is an aspect to ag uh, Agricola where your opponents you're definitely affected by what your opponents do, um, because you know their actions influence the people around you. You know. Uh, yeah. But that's part of the game. You have to you have to sort of deal with it to a certain extent. Of course, one player can help another. It's definitely a thing that happens. And then my last move will be to play game catcher. So maybe game catcher is okay. It's a fine round fourteen play. Um, yeah, do that. Get a read. And I get a cattle and a boar. And turn and game. Five, so I get eat five food, the and sheep. So yeah, uh, grats to Joshi. That was a fun one. Um, I could have played a bit better myself. I I of course made some mistakes. Um, I mean, maybe I did too many actions where I did Pet Lover instead of increasing my point total. So yeah, I score uh, 49 plus 1 for 50, which is solid, but I think Josh had got like 56 or 60 maybe. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how this game went. Um,
Definitely, anytime you have stuff that lets you do unblockable actions, um, 62, uh, nice one. Huge game. The well plus room out of turn was in. Nice play. So yeah, so Josh ends with 62, I end with 50, Gold Silver's at 40, and Kimball's at 36. So I placed second and got a good score. Um, of course, I can always play better. I mean, this is where I always want to know, you know, what would a really, really, what would a, you know, good player do with uh, with my hand? Um, Yeah, I wasn't really planning on going for the well, but I guess I could have. It was only one stone more than Basket Maker's Workshop, so. I guess I could have tried to, I guess I could have tried to build a fifth room. For another three points. Um, but I mean, I did have points up until my very last action. I was still gaining points. Even though, um, you know, Game Catcher only gave me one. It was still something. Um, yeah, let's take a look at my score. So I have no minus points except for one unused space. So that's not a huge deal. I got to Stonehouse. Um, max grade, max, max vegetable, um, Excuse me. So just chatting with Joshi, um, martial art artist dancer was really good for his extra actions because he grew so early. So he had a whole bunch of actions. So martial artist dancer raises his point ceiling, and then um, you know pelts and costermongers burrow also good for increasing your point ceiling. And of course the fact that he got to well, he's only missing. Two, he's only got two negative points here. <laughs> Yeah, I was afraid of those three being together. Yeah, definitely. I like uh he played played it very well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That happens. All right. Well, that was a good one. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, so coming in chat, it was a different looking strategy. It was. Yeah, I. Uh, you don't normally normally agricola agricola. You build a wood room. You grow. You reno. You reno. You know. You plow a bunch and stuff. Or it's, you know, you build a room. You grow. You build a room. You grow. Then you reno and do other stuff. Uh, so using officer is my first family growth um was it's a fun way to play um can i uh, i guess one of the questions is was it possible for me to win this game like could i have beaten joshi uh i'm not totally sure that i could have um oh i i okay so if family growth came round seven and um reno was round five I think I could have beat him because I would have gotten my officer going uh, three rounds earlier because I could have reno reno and I would have the cooking her so it would have been okay for feeding and then I get even if I get my mason's hut my mason's apprentice working at the same time 
I've still gotten that officer going earlier, so then I can start doing other stuff. Like, instead of Reedstone fooding a lot, which is not, admittedly, not the most efficient resource uh, space, I could have been taking, you know, three wood, then two reed, then whatever, you know, rather than Reedstone food twice. Or, you know, taking, I took one animal a bunch and left an animal behind. So maybe that was not the greatest. I was just using it like a food spot, so... Anyways, this was a fun one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, congrats to Joshi. Of course, he played it well. House Builder. We'll look at... I'll just uh, zoom in on a couple of Joshi's newest cards just so that you can see exactly what they do. Um, then I'll look at... Uh, I'll do the same for some of mine. Some of the key cards. House Builder is huge. House Builder used to be even more annoying. Uh, when it was first put on the site, it was uh, build a room at any time without playing a person. So that was a super frustrating card to play against. Um, it's been changed a little. It's still quite nice. I mean, it saved him three actions. Uh, it also lets you do stuff like gather a whole bunch of resources and then... Um, and then if someone, if the person in front of you takes starting player and can't build, oh, you build, and then you grow in front of the other people. So it just makes uh, it makes things with the starting player queue very annoying. Um, Furnisher let him play a couple extra miners, especially it was good with playing the well, as I've discussed. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, those were those were the big ones. The occupation combo, and then dancer plus martial artist was uh, was very nice. Um, yeah, cards like house builder. I'm not a huge fan of the D deck. Um, cards like house builder are kind of why because it took so long for them to get changed. The D deck is totally. It's not player created. It's all uh, the publisher or the game's creator. You Rosenberg, I think his name is. Um, put a bunch of cards that he wanted to get play tested basically and some of the cards are not really don't seem that well thought out especially not compared to um, some of the ones on the website on on play agricola some of the ones like I think the G4 G5 is a great deck because it's been really well uh, there's so much thought that's put into it and also when there are like a thousand cards and you cut them down to a hundred you know, you're going to get some really good cards. So we'll take a quick look at some of my key cards as well, just so you can see them. Mason's Apprentice, once you're in a stone house, th you can build rooms for three stone, two reed, one per, uh, one per round. So, yeah, so I built two rooms with this, and it saved me four stone. So four stone plus... Uh, two actions for one action, so that's that's good. I g gained an action in four stone. Officer, uh, officer, really. Off without officer, I would have just had it. I wouldn't have been able to do this. Officer was huge in that it let me grow in round uh, because playing officer gr with officer growing to stone and playing officer is basically like growing. So I got to st a stone house in round. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in round eight. So I could start using three people in round nine. So that was very good. Of course, with officer, I wish that family growth had come later because the other guys can't use it or whatever. I used pet lover a whole bunch for uh, two food and a grain. And patroness is just simply a fantastic card. Anyways, uh, that's going to be all for me. So uh, thanks for watching. Um,